I'm Steve Gill with our Taste of Tennessee video edition. We're right on Broadway at Valentino's Restaurant, where today we're going to be cooking up Oso Buco with saffron risotto. Let's head inside where it's cool and get started in the kitchen. All right, we're in the kitchen here at Valentino's with uh, Chef Massimo Esposito, who's going to take us through Oso Buco saffron risotto today. Oh my gosh, I'm having to cook risotto. Chef Gordon Ramsay's going to yell at me, cuss at me if I screw this up. I thought the risotto was an insult. You want though, right? I'm gonna be kind and gentle. Be gentle. We got knives and everything. We'll be fine. Anyway, here's here's the oso buco. It is a veal shank. Veal shank. We're gonna be cooking up. Uh, by the way, Massimo is from Naples, Italy. Tell us what we're doing today. This is a veal shank. That's a traditional recipe from uh, Milan, Italy, actually. Oso buco milanese. And uh, we're going to uh, braise the oso buco, the veal shank. First, we're gonna roast them nice in the pan. Then we're gonna use those vegetables that are prepared over there. Then we're gonna flame them with red wine. Which I use a Chianti for it, and then it's going to be basically braised in the oven for about two and a half hours. And this is on the menu here at Valentino, so yes, people sir. can get it tasting right. But we're going to dive into the kitchen today and try to try to make it ourselves. Uh, we'll give you a little sample at the end of the day. The recipes, of course, will be right here on the website at GillReport.com. Absolutely. Let's dive in. First thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to season the meat with salt and pepper. And this is all just kind of based on, on what looks about right. Not a formula, not a specific That's, amount. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of a exactly. pan. So I have my uh, pan started so it gets hot. So you, know, you want the pan to be hot so it uh, gets a nice golden brown color. See the meat on both sides. Okay. So we get that. Then the meat is going to be put in flour. Yeah. This part is basically just give you know, a little bit of a golden brown color. Then when you put it in the oven, according to the size of the sabuco, because it's very thin. Yeah, the fish shank can be also thinner than that, like it can be also a lot thicker than this as well. Usually something about this size, we usually about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes after you put it to go. You want the meat to kind of melt off the bone. Now the same pan that you just put the thing, got the vegetables and herbs. What we got here? Rosemary, celery, onions, and carrots. And you wanted to roast them a little bit in the same in the same uh, juice there. But what you want to do, you want to move the pan away from from the from the stove so you don't, you don't burn yourself. And it's going to okay. So we got carrots, onions, celery, and rosemary. Celery and rosemary. Okay, then you put it back on the stove. And then they cook a little bit. Seasoning, salt, pepper. At this point, we grab our red wine. I usually use a nice candy. Okay. And the same concept, before you flame it with the wine, you don't want to move the pan away, otherwise it's going to flame it's going to come in. Then, basically what I do, put it underneath the back. And we'll go in the convention. 375, two hours. For about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes, according to the thickness of the meat. Are you good to go? Now we'll wait for it, we'll do this other. 
Then we got the result. Let's see the result. Okay, while we're waiting for the Oso Buco in the oven, two and a half hours, two hours, 375 degrees, we're going to get to work on our saffron risotto with Chef Massimo in the, uh, in the kitchen. What I do is some olive oil, put them in the pan. Then here we have some shallots. Then we add our risotto to it. Then I use a little bit of white wine. Of pepper. To taste this. And then what I'll do to let it finish cook, I use a little bit of uh, broth. What kind of broth? This is like a, it's like a veal broth. Okay, and let it finish cook that way. Then we have the safra, which is a Spanish spice. It's very, very flavorful, very strong. Add it to that, so it kind of gives a little bit of a yellow color. It's interesting that that bright red saffron turns yellow. Yeah. Saffron is a very, uh, it's a very strong spice, but it's, it's not really strong, it's not like spicy. It's uh, kind of like sweet, actually. At this point, what I'll do, Parmesan cheese. And this is just grated Parmesan cheese. Grated Parmesan cheese, yes. Then, without the flame, okay. It's important. All right, one of the keys to a great restaurant is making sure the plating presents it in a way that makes the dish look even more spectacular than it tastes. And then the tasting part, of course, comes next, which is going to be fantastic here at Valentino's. Let's get to the plating. First of all, our oso buco is done. You see the, the beautiful uh, bright red flavors uh, from the tomato paste, from all the other uh, vegetables kind of searing down into the oso buco. We've got our risotto perfectly done. And now, Massimo, how do we, how do we plate this in a way that the, uh, the diner is going to want it even before they taste it? Let me show you what I'll do. I'll put the result on the bottom. Okay. Then, the also will go. and a little fork if somebody wants to get the whole meal out of it. And now there's a reason we call this the taste of Tennessee because we're not just looking at it, we're going to taste this. Buonissimo. Come dive in. The rest of our crew is going to dive in, finish this off. Massimo, Valentino's, don't trust what I cook. Get to Valentino's, order it yourself, the Oso Buco, Saffron Risotto, tell them Steve Gill sent you, and we'll have more of the Taste of Tennessee Steve Gill Show video coming up with some of your other favorite restaurants down the road. Massimo, thank you. This is spectacular.